Hello and welcome to Cooking with Joe. Okay, so as with anything with mash, it's all about the ingredients. One of the main ingredients is the water that we're using. Um, today we've had to use um, boiled Evian, cooled back down again. Uh, unfortunately, we, could, we couldn't get hold of the um, the Icelandic spring water that we normally use that's imported as ice. Um, so. We need to weigh this out. It's quite critical. Uh, I like to use 1.971, which you know, as you can see, that is perfectly. Uh, I think that's quite important as well. Now you have to bear in mind that if the temperature of the room is up, so we have a controlled temperature of 26 degrees, um, we like to measure everything at that, and then the expansion of the plastic of the vessel, which you know. That's, that's taken out of the equation, so we don't, we don't have to worry too much. So, okay, what we like to do now is pour this in here. Um, be careful, obviously, not to spill on it. Um, now, I like to give it a good hard shake three times after just to get everything out. There we go, that's perfect. Now, uh, the other thing that's very important, um, we use Himalayan sea salt. Um, now I like to use about eight grams. Uh, I think that's the optimum, really. But obviously, it is you know a personal thing. So, well, seven grams today we're using. Uh, let's see. We could just top that up a little. Yeah. So then we add that into there. There we go. Okay, so um, with the potatoes, I think it's quite important to get them a sort of uniform surface area so they all cook equally because you don't want one mouthful that's a bit rough and then one mouthful that's smooth. It's just not good in the world of mash. So what I've done anyway is cut them into sort of similar sized pieces and then um, I've weighed them so they're all the same. There's 41 grams. I think 41 grams, you know, you can't really go wrong with. I don't know if you can get in here. Yeah, as you can see, that one's a big one. I've sent have done that. Somebody else will have done. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll just trim a little bit off there. I like to take a small slither at a time until we get down to, to, to the optimum, you know, the optimum weight. It's 45. So you know, it's getting less. 43, I think we'll take a corner off. 42. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, these potatoes now have all been washed um, three times over to remove the starch. As you know, starch is the enemy of fluffy potatoes. For maximum fluffiness, we need to remove all the starch. So what we're going to do is individually dry these potatoes um, as we put them into the pot. I think that's okay. Yeah. And obviously I'm not going to show you doing all this because it's going to take it's going to take a while. So. Uh, We'll just cut there and I'll, I'll, I'll get everything in. Now again, this is cold water. Um, you like to keep it the temperature of 17 degrees, as you can see, um, on our uh, mash making machine. This is a live readout. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is the machine that's gonna help us um, cut the mash. I've made this up now. It incorporates some of the technology uh, used in actually the first Apollo 17 flight, which is a switch, because that switch is in, so we've put one on this too. Um, now, as this will read out, one is um, for um, time, and this is for temperature, and this controls this, this um, hot plate. We have a 16 amp contactor, and some big LED lights and the start button. Uh, now you might tell these aren't professionally written on. Now if we do go into manufacturing these, I uh, will try and write it a bit tidier and maybe even do joined up, but we'll just have to see. Uh, so the idea is we preset temperature um, of 70 degrees uh, and a time of um, 
one hour, 26 minutes, 46 seconds, uh, which feels you know, about right for, for this weighted potato. Um, so I think, um, without further ado, I think we'll press a button and, and, and see how we go. Now, um, the reason why we're cooking at 70 degrees uh, and why we're cooking from cold is because we don't want to shock the potatoes and they'll um, burst the starch. Um, cells in them and obviously they won't be fluffy enough so um, I'll, I'll press the button now uh, as you can see we have the temperature and the time light on and the power light was on anyway um, and if you wait you will see the um, temperature starting to rise on the um, as the potatoes get hotter We've had one cooking with the um, machine uh, uh, and as you can tell they're nice. Now what I like to do is obviously zero this and give it a quick measure uh, 17.777 which is a nice amount of shrinkage I feel that, that you know that's what you should be looking for uh, at this point in proceedings. So what I'm going to do now is pop them back into here uh, for the second cooking. So uh, we've got the bottom cooking away nicely and we're just warming the milk up. I like to use about 35 degrees uh, C, I think that's the best temperature for the milk for the mixing. Um, so we're just coming up to that now, there we go. So we'll take that off there and we'll be using that soon. And then as our potatoes are lovely and ready. So what we need to do now is to take these and I'll be right back. So um, what we'll do, I'll just get rid of this out of the way now. Um, not sure on it. Need to weigh that. That's two and nine. Now I happen to know that that weighs 58. So I've got 150 grams of butter. So we'll just pick the best ones for the texture now. That'll do for now. Now what we need to do is give these an extra dry now. Now this is the interesting one. If we reset that. It was 41, 37, perfect. That is a figure that you want. Some are 39, so we've lost a bit, but it's getting rid of the moisture that's all important. Okay, so I'll just go through all these and dry them, and then uh, we can go from there. So our, our milk is still lovely and warm, goes in first. Our soul. Again, it's a Malaysian sea salt, <laughs> Himalayan pink salt, and our cubes of butter. And I like to spread these out equally. Something like that. Pick this piece of apparatus up, the potato ricer. We load it with our dried potatoes. Press them through the ricer like that. Ooh. Not 
shaping up to be nice now. It's still quite lumpy, so what we need to do now is sit this onto the plane using a power sit. So we simply load that into there. This is quite a fine sit, but I find that works best. It takes a little bit of time, but you know it's worthwhile in the big scheme of things. Okay, so what we're doing now, push it through like this. Okay, anything coming through? <laughs> It's a bit of time as I said, but this is the elixir of special match this, you, you can't beat it, you know. Seven hours I've done spent doing this sometimes, I think it's the most, <laughs> most important job. <laughs> oh, it's coming through gorgeously now. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. It's nice, you know. <laughs> <laughs>